What's up everyone, it's Bucky. Welcome to your second Python tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about simple numbers and some simple math calculations in Python. Now in Python, you do it a little bit differently than regular program languages. And remember, we're still working in idle, the Python GUI. So open that, and once you got it open, you're ready to go. So last uh, tutorial, I told you guys how to make a basic output on a screen print. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys the basics of working with uh, simple numbers and expressions. So the first thing that you can do is you can use the GUI or idle is a calculator. So do something like 2 um, plus 2. It will give you an answer. You can also subtract 6 minus 3. It will give you an answer. Now, you can do all these simple things. And another thing that you can do um, besides multiplication and stuff is simple division. So go ahead and you can do integer division, 18 divided by 3, like that. But what if you try integer division with numbers that don't divide evenly, like 18 over 7. Now this is 2 point something, but once you do that, it just gives you 2. And this is because Python is looking at your question, 18 divided by 7, and it says, all right, you're asking me what integer divided by an integer is, so I'm going to give you an integer is the answer. But well, we all know that 18 divided by 7 isn't 2. So how do we tell Python to give us the regular answer? Well, since the answer has decimal points, we need to ask Python in decimal points. And a decimal point, decimal point number in computer language is called a float. And how you do this, how you get an answer in decimal points, you have to include a decimal point somewhere in your division. So 18.0 divided by 7, that will give you your answer. You can also do 18.0 divided by 7.0, and that will give you your answer. Or even 18 divided by 7, and just put a point, and that tells Python that you want a decimal point as your answer, and that will give you your flow answer too. Now besides addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division, we got um, a fifth operation that comes in handy a lot of the time and that's your modulus operator and that's just the percent sign now when you're dividing or dividing you have this number right here and you have a decimal point but if you want an integer the uh, modulus is pretty much the remainder that you learn in uh, high school or elementary school whenever the heck you learned it so 9 uh, divided by 4 is 2 with a remainder of 1. So once you do 9 modulus 4, it's going to give you the remainder, which is 1. So the modulus, whenever you do that, it's just the remainder. So what if you got the modulus of something like 8 divided by 4? What's the remainder of that? It's 0. So whenever you press enter, voila, it gives you 0. Who would have thought? So you can even do one extra thing I just want to tell you about. You can even get a modulus of a float, like, um, there, that'll give you a remainder. 8.75, what's the remainder when you divide it by 0.5? You have 0.25 left over. So, um, that's how you use the modulus, and again, the modulus is just the remainder of whatever is left when it divides it by the, uh, uh, let's see, denominator. So, the last expression I want to talk to you guys about is how to do exponents in Python. And how you do this, 6, whenever you want to do something like 6 times 7, just put 6 star 7, it will give you the answer. But whenever you want to do exponents, and remember, like something like 8 exponent 3 is 8 times 8 times 8, 8 3 times. Or 5 exponent 4 is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So how do you do this in Python? You can either do this, 6 times 6 times 6, and you can do that as many times as you like, but there's a lot easier way. Say you want 8 to the third power. All you have to do is type 8, two stars, and then type whatever you want the exponent to be. 8 to the third, bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And you can do this with any um, exponent you want. So instead of typing 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, I said that wrong, but oh well. Just type star star 5 times 12. Bam. That'll give you your answer. 
And you can also do this when um, your number is negative as well. So negative five exponent uh, four. Bam, there you go. So in this tutorial, we covered basic math functions, and I'll also tell you guys how to do modulus and exponent. And those are the basic math functions, but we're gonna be using them a lot in the future. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys now have a better understanding of how to do simple math functions in Python. So again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the next tutorial, and I will see you next time.